Mm -hmm. So let's do today. We'll be doing correction to the assignments given to you. So the first question on the assignment, I believe that most of you got it. So you know the first question. The question is that you should translate Abi in figure and state which of those statements are what are true. The first one is Abuja is the capital of Nigeria and Lagos is the largest commercial city in Nigeria, right? So if you look at it, you see that if Abuja, if P, if P, let P be the first statement that Abuja is the capital, Abi, is the federal capital of Nigeria. And that one is what is true, which is true, Abi. And Q, so we let Q be that Lagos is the largest commercial city, is the largest commercial city. And that one in Nigeria, so that one is also what is also true. So if this one is true, this one is true. The and that is between them, that is a conjunctional sign. So which means that we have P cap Q. So which is what? Which is true cap true. And the answer is what is true. And for the second one, if P, let P be that 12 is what? Is an even number. Is an even number, and that is what that is true. Have it? And Q be that minus five greater than three, minus five plus three greater than minus two plus three. So minus five plus three is what? That is minus two. Then this one is one. So this one is telling you that minus 2 is greater than 1 and which is what? That is a force, F. So we have all between them, this functional statement. That is the two statements that are not true at the same time. So which means we have P of Q, which is a true or false. And the answer is true, right? So can you see? So the answer is uh, true because one of the seven is true. So then let's move, let's move on to this one. That pentagon has five sides or one when I see prime number. So if P is that pentagon has a five side, has five sides, right? And that one is what is true. So this one is true. So 109 is a one is a prime number. So Q be that 109 is a prime number. Prime number. And that one is also true. So we have a P this. So that is true of uh, true. So that is true. Then for this one. You have, you have been given this one that true, true, false, uh, false, right? We have false, false. We have, so we have true, we have false, we have true, we have a uh, false. So, negation of this, negation of this will be false, false, true, true. Then this one will be false. Was true. You should have known this one perfectly. So here we have a true everything. So you just this this place is false. Others we have true, we have true. Then here also that is negation P and negation Q. So which means that it's only this place that the thing will be false. Right? Others will be true. You should have known that by this time. Then we have uh, negation P 
biconditional statement of P, so which is this one and this. And for the biconditional statement, it says you the start the statement will be true when the both P and Q are true, or when both P and Q are false. So which means that for this one, let me show Q. You see that here we have a false, so this one will be false, right? So here we have a true. Then this means we make this two be true, true. Then lastly, so this one will be also will also be more false. And I think that's the first part of the that's the correction to the assignment. We give it to you. Now, so let's do the other parts. Then the, the next one, the next assignment given to you is that you said that you should say whether this thing is uh, true. And if I remember, the thing is that if it was an uh, accident, something should have broken, right? So that is, and, and I think that's number three. That's the second part of the assignment. And that one was, that one was uh, given to you on, uh, I think, last class, I think. Uh, so, let's just move on. So, if you look at the statement, so we have this, we have this, we have this, right? Solution of this. Let's see that this is our P. This is uh, the first premise. The first statement is that. If it was a uh, an accident, accident, something should have got, something should have broken, should have uh, broken. So, second statement, second statement is that nothing was a uh, broken. Nothing was broken. Nothing was broken. Then conclusion. If nothing was broken, definitely it was uh, not an uh, accident. Conclusion therefore. Therefore, it was uh, not an accident. It was not an uh, accident. Now,
So let P let B P let P be that let P be that it was an accident. It was an accident. Accident. It was an accident, right? Then negation P will be that it was a not an what? It was not an. Uh, it was not an accident. After that, what else? We have Q to be what? Q. Let Q be that something was broken, right? Let Q be that something was uh, broken. Something was broken, right? Then, in addition, Q will be that nothing was uh, broken. Nothing was So when you look at it from the first statement that so from that first statement that if it was an accident something should have a what broken. You will see that from the first uh, statement from the first statement here that if it was an accident something should have broken so this is telling you that p implies a q are you getting this now so when you, this one nothing was broken that is negation what negation q and this one is what therefore it was not an uh, accident and this one is equivalent to what negation p so when we now come back here so which means that we now have p implies a uh, Q. This one is that if it was an accident, something should have what should have uh, broken. That's the meaning of this. That is, if it was an accident, then something should have broken. That is Q. Now, then now see in conjunction with the statement that nothing was uh, broken. Nothing was uh, broken. Then what's next? If nothing was broken, then everything in general means that what? Means that it was not an uh, accident. It was not an uh, accident. Have you? So that is negation what? P conclusion that it was not an, what? an accident. That is negation uh, P. So, which means that your first premise will now be like this. Your first premise will now be this. Your second premise can be this. Are you getting this now? Then your third premise. So your conclusion, the conclusion you have know, was this. The meaning is that when all this uh, this statement are true, when the, you check the place where this one is true, this one is also true. Once this one is also true, then it means that uh, we say the argument is what is valid. So let's now draw the table. Let's draw the table. Now, we now want to draw the table. We want to draw the table. So we now have a table of uh, P and Q. So which this one is true, true, false, uh, false. Then we have true, false, true, false. After that, what we need next? We need negation of P. And we also need the negation of a Q. Do we need the negation of P? So we don't need that. We only need the negation of Q. 
So the addition of Q will be cos through cos uh, that one. Then after that, we need this. We need this. And this is what that one will be uh, Q. So this one should be what? True. We have a uh, cos. Then after that, this one should be true, Abby. Then true. You know, this one is false only when the Q has the consequence is false. Then after that, what next? We have a uh, P. This one. Then in conjunction with what? With negation Q. I you get this now? Negation Q. Then after that, what next? So. This one will only be true when both these two statements are true. That's one of this. So when you check this, this one, injunction with this, right? So which means we have a force here, right? This means also we have force. We have force, then we have a true. I think so. that's right. Then the last corner, do I have enough space? Or oh, let me just, that just manage this thing. So the last column will now be. I think we still need a negation p. So we still need negation p. Let me quickly do negation p here, right? So you do negation p here. So that your negation p will be false, false, true, true. Have it? That's the purpose of this one. So you have this here. So because of my space. I can just bring that nation P, I can bring it down here again. So if I bring it down here, from there I can just do some manipulation. You know, so I can have a, this thing here. I can have the implication sign here. That is this one completely implication of this in conjunction with this. Are you getting this now? So instead of putting all the value here again, because of the space, you can just have it like this. Put the sign here. So, you know the negation P, as we have here, is a false, false, true, true. Have it? It is here. It is here, negation of P. So, which means that, we now move back to this now, right? So, this one, we have true here, true, so true, true. So, then we need to do that is what? So, that is a tautology, right? So that is tautology. If this tautology, you don't need to check whether it is valid or not valid. Again. That is what automatic uh, validation. The thing is automatically valid since it is tautology. So the argument is what is valid automatically. That is uh, valid. So, because it is tautology, that is automatic uh, validation. So the argument is valid. So that's all. That's the end of the class. So, salam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.